we're gonna figure out the hybridization of XEF2, xenon difluoride. Now, this is a molecule and it would be useful to have the Lewis structure so we know how many hybrid orbitals we're gonna need. XE is a non-metal in group 18. It brings eight valence electrons with it. Fluorine in group 17 brings seven valence electrons with it. That's eight and two sevens or 22 total valence electrons. Now, the way I draw Lewis structures is to put one atom in the center and the outer atoms surrounding it. Then I connect the central atom with each of the outer atoms to hold them into a single molecule. Each of these single bonds represents two electrons. So I have two, four electrons total so far. I need 22. So I'm going to fill the octets of the outer atoms until I get to 22 electrons or until I run out of outer atoms. That was two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 electrons used up so far. And the octets on both of my outer atoms are already full. Now, I still have six extra electrons to deal with. Remember, I have 16 here and uh, I need 22. All you can do is dump them onto the central atom, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And this is the complete Lewis structure for xenon difluoride. Now, what I'm gonna point out is that bonding pairs of electrons take up hybrid orbitals, as long as they are single bonds, I should say. If there were double or triple bonds, those double and triple bonds would not be in hybridized orbitals. And then these lone pairs are also in hybridized orbitals. So that's one, two, three, for five hybrid orbitals that I need in order to accommodate two bonding pairs and three lone pairs. When you have, or when you are in need of five hybridized orbitals, the hybridization is S, P3, D, because you're going to use the S orbital and the three P orbitals, P, X, P, Y, P, Z, and one of the D orbitals in that energy level. They will hybridize together, create five degenerate hybridized orbitals at some energy in between S and D here. And there you have it. There's your hybridization of XEF2, but you didn't know that until you knew that there were two single bonds or sigma bonds and three lone pairs around the central atom. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.